Hey everyone, Dan here. Before you get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. And keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are on Friday, January 26th. Uh, we're going to check in on Tell today because I received a few messages about uh, supposed hype around a short squeeze that is kind of imminent on Tell. So I wanted to come in and sort of look at the three sets of criteria that I typically look for to see if an actual short squeeze could happen and if the, the you know, the sort of bare bones are even there for it to make sense. Now, the first thing that I look for is that the stock price is moving against the short sellers. So if we look here on the daily chart, um, you know, obviously short sellers, if they're contributing to driving down the price, they are in control, it would appear to me at the moment. Now, yes, it's doing well in the pre-market, um, you know, but up a little less than 10% is, uh, I don't, I don't know that that's going to really sort of shake the trees, if you will. Um, you know, this has been a pretty clear drawdown since this like dollar level. And uh, again, you know, if I had to say who's in control here, the longs or the shorts, I would say the shorts. And so I don't necessarily see a strong case that it's going against them right now. Now, could that change just based on the hype that there that there's a short squeeze coming and sort of retail and whomever else pours in? and starts driving up the stock price very quickly, yeah, that could definitely happen. Um, will it? I don't know. But even if we look at something like the four-hour chart here, you know, again, we just see sort of like drawdown. We, we see a few jumps, right, including, um, you know, recent jumps. But again, nothing that sort of screams to me like, you know, the shorts are having their, their rear ends handed to them um, based on this uptick. Again, that could change based on the hype. The hype can work in weird ways. And one of the ways that it could work is that there wasn't a short squeeze until the hype started to say that there was. And then that piled in buyers and they drove the price up and they actually made it possible. So again, I'm not saying that that can't take shape, but I'm really, really would be looking for this to start putting in some big, big green candles in order to put that pressure on the short sellers. Um, now... If we look on the think or swim side of things, you know, we don't see the TTM squeeze indicator uh, triggering yet. We do see it sitting down here again toward the lower bound of the channel. So again, that would sort of tend to tell me we see the red wave cloud here that, you know, the bears still have their grip on it for the moment. So that would need to change and it can change quickly, but that would need to change for me to feel like there is opportunity for the short squeeze to take place. Now, we look here, there was something from, I think it was from Benzinga. Um, yeah, analyzing the short interest. So we're going to compare this because the short data is always a little bit scattered and sketchy. So they have here, um, Telluron's short percentage of float has fallen 4.36%. The company recently reported yada, 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 which is 15 0.13% of all regular shares that are available. So 15% of shares are available for trading. Um, so, you know, the short interest being in double digits is what I look for. So to the extent to which that's the case here, that, you know, would, would sort of be on the side of possible, you know, short squeezes possible. If I look at market beat here, Market beat has a little bit of an uptick in short interest from the previous month. Market beat um, is, you know, clocking it in at 16.9%. So again, pretty securely in the double digits there. And then if I look at Fintel, um, we get 15.3. Um, so pretty close to what Benzing has. So these are all sort of in line. You know, sometimes we see wild discrepancies. This is not a wild discrepancy to me. So this pretty clearly says to me, double digits, short interest, as far as we can tell. And um, that would sort of be one of the components that I look for to say, okay, is the, is the interest, the short interest even high enough 
to effectuate a short squeeze because you need this sort of like rolling um, sort of cascading event, right? Where there's so many short sellers in this thing that once some of the dominoes start to topple, that there's just this cascade that follows. So that's part of the reason why you need um, a higher percentage. Now, the third key that I look for is a high fee. We want short sellers to have like two big things going against them. One, that's the price is going against them. So that was the chart that we looked at first. And then the second big thing that you'd want going against them would be that the fee to borrow these shares that they're shorting is very high. Ideally triple digits, but at least high doubles is what I typically look for. If we look down here, again, this is from iBorrowDesk. So, you know, you're only as good as the data that you have access to. So this is what I have, um, take it or leave it. But the fee as of yesterday, you know, into close and, and all day basically, 0.7% was the fee to borrow shares to short them. Um, and if I scroll down, that hasn't really changed much. If anything, it's gone down a smidge, um, you know, from days prior where it got up to 1%, you know, but real, like even if it stayed at 1% or it, it doubled to 2%, like that wouldn't make me feel as though there was a strong indication that there was short sellers out there who were so over leveraged, high percentage of the, of the float being shorted, and that they were paying an incredible fee to, to borrow those shares to short it. And then at the same time, the stock price just would not stop climbing and they couldn't get out, right? That, so to me, maybe we have one component here where the short interest is in the double digits. Again, could something like just the hype around people saying that there's a short squeeze coming, drive the price up and you know put that as the second sort of tack in the board. Sure, that could happen. Um, but I would really want to see that fee climbing up. Ideally, again, triple digits, over 100. Um, but even if you get something maybe 40, 50, 60, 70 percent um, fee, that might be enough um, depending on how strongly the stock is moving upward and against the shorts that might be enough to sort of set off some fireworks so we'll see to me this looks like it's kind of one of three criteria met at the moment and um you know i'll keep an eye on it but like i said the hype alone can certainly drive drive the price and we're seeing a little motion this morning we'll see what happens at open but that's my two cents for now all right folks i hope that you have a good trading day and i will see you in the next video.